I want to make this statement, and we'll get ready to move on to the next point here in a moment. I believe by what I read about the activity of the devil in the last days, this is what I believe. I believe the devil possessed man in the last days may not be the man. Listen, he may not be the man that's naked, living in the graveyard with supernatural strength, speaking in a growling voice. I believe the devil possessed woman in the last days, listen to me now, may not be a woman with her head turning around 360 and spewing green vomit. Okay? I believe the devil possessed in the last day are going to be propagating devilish doctrines because they are seduced themselves by evil spirits. We're waiting for somebody to go to foaming and flipping around on the ground and wallowing around. And, well, some of them do that, I reckon. I believe we got devil-possessed people in the church and devil-possessed people out of the church. And they're not foaming at the mouth. Their head's not spinning. They're not vomiting up green puke and supernatural strength and all that kind of stuff. You know what they're doing? They're possessed by a seducing spirit. And they're teaching you smoothly and with the Bible false doctrine. Some of it is so critical it sends you to hell if you believe it. Like Jesus Christ is not God. Or it's not wrong according to the Bible to be a sodomite. Or that God is finished with Israel and we have replaced Israel. Ungodly teaching. Who told them that? They didn't find it in the Bible. A seducing spirit told them that. It's a doctrine of the devil. The manifestations, I believe, in the last days of people with the, full of the devil may not be what you saw back there in the early 70s with the exorcists. It may not be what you're reading about when, when legions coming through there, running through the graveyard. There'll be, there'll be plenty of that around. <laughs> but I believe the devil's smart. He knows how to manifest himself in a low-key way that sort of evolves with the time as it is. And he knows what people's doing. See, see, the, see all that kind of mess was real graphic and, 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 and made his mark. But now in the age that we live in where... We can reach everybody, everybody, through a little bitty screen. Oh, man, I can do much more damage than having a girl flipping around down there going, eh, eh, eh. I can do a lot more damage by saying, here's a book that explains why Jesus Christ is not God. And I can put it out there for everybody to get a hold of it. Listen to me. Now you listen very carefully. That Bible talks about, Paul says in there, I'm afraid you believed in another Jesus. There's the Bible Jesus and there's another Jesus. Now listen. If you say that Jesus Christ is God and he's not, you're making a man God that isn't. And that's terrible. And if you're saying he's not God... And he is, you're saying a man is not God when he is. Either way, you're in bad shape. This ain't a negotiable doctrine. This ain't, well, you know, he says potato, I say potato. No. No. I believe it was Adrian Rogers. Adrian Rogers said, you don't have to understand the Trinity, but if you don't believe it, you'll go to hell. Because a Christ that isn't God cannot save you Amen. and that's not the Christ of the Bible you be warned about this stuff that's what we're going to have in the church in the last day people sneaking around trying to spread false doctrine to damn somebody's soul to hell alright number two 